Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This one is by request. Uh, people have been asking about this song for a good while. Looking Good by Magic Sam. We're going to do kind of the medium tempo studio version from West Side Soul on Delmark Records rather than the frantic live versions that are so popular on YouTube. You know, I think it's better to walk before you can run. <laughs> and uh, got my friend J.D. Sipe here. Uh, we've been playing together in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And um, love playing with him. Great bass player and also a folk artist. He actually painted a record cover that I did with Kike Gomez. Rock and Johnny and Kike Gomez, Dos Hombres Wanted. Check out his art. So uh, we're going to play it. Um, key of A. Ready, JD? I'm going to count it off with the clicks. That's another magic Samism. So I'm going to do down clicks. <laughs> on the bass. Thank you. This song is really kind of like a Mount Rushmore for blues guitar playing. I mean, you know what it is, but the actual capturing the magic and making it exciting and, and making it engaging is not so easy. Okay, I think the easiest way to sort of get a hold of actually playing this song is to chunk it up. So let's talk about the bottom part first, which is the open A string. Then the 4th fret D string, 3rd fret A string, 4th fret D string. So, this is also in the Billy Boy Arnold song, Kissing at Midnight. In fact, the whole guitar part is a lot like Kissing at Midnight. Kissing at Midnight is a little easier. Anyway, and then you have this. Here's the part on top. This is a little tricky. It's like something that would be an open G, but it'd it actually be a lot easier in open G. But anyway, this part I'm talking about. So this is your third fret B string. And then just do a hammer on to the fifth fret with your pinky B string. So you got this. And this is with an upstroke with your fingertip. And then you gotta roll and tug it a little bit, give it some soul. And then play your A chord. Dun, 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 it's funky. So let's try the part. That's part one we talked about. Now let's get our finger in there. After my finger, after my thumb comes down, my finger comes up a little bit. Like you're walking. You ready to try this? Let's try it a little bit slower. Sometimes I think you hear it without this. You just hear it. So. Two, three. And then he answers this with sort of a, oh yeah, is that what you like? 
you sort of answer it this way. First you have, and then you have. It's another roll, but you're rolling up with your second finger on the third fret of the E string. So the whole deal. All right, let's go a little slower, the whole deal. really helps. I do want to take just a moment and talk about the rhythm guitar by Mighty Joe Young. I just love it. I love it to death. And anyway, it's like this. It's he sort of simplified it as it went along. He started out like this that or something to go go with that but he gradually like toned it down which is interesting the choices that he made but anyway this is just then fourth fret fifth fret four and then reach down with your second finger on the third fret of the a string and give it some tug don't do this somebody told me to play that just go This song is really joyful. You can hear the joy in the bass, you know. Something like that at the beginning, and he simplifies it too. It's infectious. It would be great to uh, get together with a friend and have your friend play something like that while you practice this, or vice versa. Okay, so once you have this kind of droning boogie thing down with these bass notes, and this, and this, and uh, the constant coming back up to make that. That's what's going on so far. Then you see sort of breaks things up and does this thing that's almost easier and open G. But uh, anyway, this is just fifth fret and third fret. And then a part of the flavor of this song is clanging into the, it's, I don't know if it's a sympathetic ring or he's hitting it just a little bit, but he's definitely, you can hear that D string when you're coming down with your thumb. Just a hair, not all the way. Let me save that for later. So I've got fifth fret B string, third fret E string, and then. Or, I think this is it. And you can sort of bounce into it. Sometimes instead of going up and down like this, I just go up and down with my thumb. Give myself a little bit of a break so I'm not constantly doing this. Yeah, so that's... And then 3rd fret B, str B string, 5th fret, and then... That's how he answers that with just a do 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 It's just the, uh, it's like part three. If this is all part one, that's part one, and this is part two. This is part three. Everything is sort of arranged in three parts, you know, so that's part three. It's just reaching out with your pinky to the, to that C note, fifth fret G string. And then that's when he does the breaks because it's like he's laid out three parts. And then he goes 
just him, and it's so dramatic. He brings it back in, and he just goes like that. Whoops. Sometimes it's a dry click like that. Sometimes it's like. But that da da da, that's a signal to the drummer and the bass player, come on back. Then he repeats all that again, the group of three. Sometimes I get a little looser and just use my thumbnail like that. You can see I was a little looser. I wasn't so muting. I let it go a little bit, let it open up. I can do the whole thing with my thumb. But you don't quite have the magic droning with it. But that's sort of a cheat just to get you through in case you have some fatigue doing this or it's just not, not totally your style. And so then the second verse is just not verse, but the second stop, that's where that's just like the magic mountain that can never totally be climbed. You got your long A and you know, everything is out of this one finger A chord. Fret. So then you have your pinky out here, fifth fret. I'm going to bring the reverb off just to show you. see this G on the low E string and then I wonder if this is that rapidy rap stuff that Magic Sam was talking about on that interview in the bus So I did it two ways. I did it this way and then did this. So that's like he took that bass line and sort of turned it upside down. Something like that. Anyway, hope I'm not going too fast. Really, it's something to improvise. He never played it exactly the same way, it doesn't seem to me. So then you have this. That's kind of the same part of the melody, right? And now the big climactic part is going to the four. So this is, when you take this, move it up two frets, you're in the four. And then you have your third finger or your pinky It's the same thing that's in all those little Walter parts. You know. What's that song? Take me back, baby. Try it one more time. Anyway, he's doing that. Anyway, but... And, and there's this magic pull-off that he does that it makes it sound like he's at two places at once. I just can't quite get that one, man. Oh, my God. So it's like... I went... That's what I do. Or But I, I can't quite catch it, but good luck, but that's where it's at. And um it's just a real challenge. And then and then he goes And he's back in the game. So I wouldn't even worry about that whole second part till you can get this going. You could be sitting there watching TV, see if you can just do this. Try to sit somewhere where you can hear yourself tapping your foot. Don't forget to smile. Let's see, just for the heck of it, if you can do it with just your thumbnail. Switch. No, 
now just for the heck of it. You can even just do this, just bump it. hard so good luck let me know how it did i hope you enjoyed it and it's helpful to you if any of you have some magic sam memories um please share them i'd love to hear them and uh i hope this helps you chunk it up take your time and i hope it didn't go too fast if it did i will try to uh, post like a a corrected version or something or a, a a version that's more accessible but i hope it helps you guys and see you next time subscribe to my youtube channel join me on patreon thanks a lot